Hey art friends, we're super excited about today's lesson because who are we gonna draw? Monchi. This art lesson is sponsored by Netflix and Monchi is the super cute dog that's in the new animated movie. The Mitchells versus the Machines. Yeah, we love this movie, don't we? Mm -hmm. You can watch The Mitchells versus the Machines right now on Netflix. And what was your favorite part in the movie? When Monchi was confusing the robots <laughs> and he was like, dog, pig, dog, pig, loaf of bread. <laughs> and then they go, <laughs> We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw his nose in the middle of our paper, but towards the top. And we're gonna draw an upside down U shape about that size. Inside, we can draw a regular, to cut a tall skinny U shape. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's color in that shape. And then we can also draw a little curve on the left and connect it to the center and then color that shape in. And then also the same thing on the right side and color that in. There's Monchi's nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw two big ovals, one on each side of his nose. So let's just, we'll start here. Let's leave a little space from the nose and we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a oval shape that comes around and connects that's ginormous. Yeah. <laughs> now let's draw his other eye over here. So we're gonna leave a little space on this side too. And we're gonna draw an oval that comes around and connects. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> awesome, I love it. I love that our two drawings are exactly the same. That's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Because the most important thing is- To have fun. And to- Practice. Practice, yeah. Let's draw his pupils next. The inside, we're gonna draw a little oval right he's here. He's always cross-eyed. Yeah, he can't focus very well. <laughs> and then let's draw another pupil over here on the right. We'll kind of aim it towards the other direction. <laughs> nice. Now let's draw a little curve that's gonna start here on the left side and we're gonna go up over his nose, back down, and then connect to this eye over here. It's for a snout. Yeah, and then we can also draw his eyelids. Let's draw one on the left side. We're gonna draw a little curve that comes out from the eye and then back in. And then we can do that same thing over here on the right side. We'll curve out and then back in. Yeah, now let's draw his mouth. We'll start here on his nose. We're gonna draw a curve coming straight down. Then we're gonna start over here on the left side of his eye. We're gonna curve around, and then we're gonna connect to that line that comes down from the nose. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Come out, I think this kind of looks like his cheek. It's gonna come out and then curve back to the mouth. Yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> So awesome. Okay, Monchi seriously is my favorite. I, I love him so much. Okay, now we're gonna draw his tongue. We're gonna come down from the middle of his mouth and we're gonna draw the letter U. It's, his tongue is sticking out. One of my favorite parts is when the fly flew into his mouth and he didn't, oh. even, he didn't even notice. <laughs> he just... Or when it, oh, when Monchi licks the dad. Yeah, that was, <laughs> I like that part too. <laughs> All right, now let's draw the top of the tongue. We're gonna draw a little curve that comes to the middle, comes up and then to the middle. And then we're gonna start down here and then we're gonna curve up like this and then connect, well, actually just curve over to the left. Yeah, now let's draw the mouth. We're gonna curve down into the tongue. There we go. And then we're gonna imagine that going behind the tongue and coming out on the right side. <laughs> then let's draw the bottom of his chin. We can draw another curve that matches and then touches the tongue. We'll imagine that going through and coming out on the right side. Now let's draw the top of his head. We'll start over here and we're gonna draw a curve that connects the eyes together. Next, let's draw his ears, his little floppy ears. We're gonna draw a curve coming right out of the eye. One eyelash. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> We're gonna start over here and kind of turn it into the letter T. So 
we've got a curve that comes down, touches that line, and comes past. Then we're going to come over here, and we're going to curve back up. Looks like the letter V. Then let's draw the top of the ear, and then connect back into his head. Let's do that same thing on the right side. We'll come out of his eye for the little eyelash. Next, let's draw that curve T, connect to that line, come out past, and we'll curve back up, draw the top of the ear, and then connect back into his head. Now we're ready to draw his arms. We're gonna start here, we're, let's draw a curve that comes down from his cheek, and let's repeat that same curve over here on the right side. And we're also drawing him sitting in his car seat. So his, his paws are going to be up. Let's draw a little fur sticking out of his elbow. Looks like a little W. Now let's draw the rest of his arm coming in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So a little W for his fur. Then we're going to draw the rest of his arm coming in. Now let's draw his paws. We'll start on this side and we'll draw a small letter U. Then let's draw another one. And one more sticking out, but watch this. We're going to curve around and then curve into his elbow, but leave a little space. Okay. Let's add little fingernails on his paw. Let's repeat those same steps on the right side. We'll draw a letter U. Then we're going to draw another one. And then one more and curve around and come towards his elbow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we can add those little toenails on his paw. He's so cute. Now let's draw the rest of his body. We'll start over here on his elbow and we're going to draw a big letter U. We'll start here. We're going to curve around like this and then connect on the right elbow. Now we're ready to draw his back legs. We'll start here, and we're going to draw another letter U. Comes down, touches the bottom, and comes back up. Then we're going to repeat all of those same steps that we did for his toes on his front paws. Let's draw, kind of looks more like a sideways U, though. Then we're going to draw another one. And then one more, but this one's going to curve around towards his back elbow. Or knee. I'm not sure what you would call that. <laughs> then let's draw the rest of his leg. We'll start here on his leg, on his foot. We're going to curve up for his knee and then back down and stop right there. What should we add next? His toenails. Yeah, let's do that. Little, little spikes on each of his toes. Okay, now we're going to do all of those same steps one more time, but flip it on the other side. So let's draw that U shape first. I'm going to come down, touch, and then curve back up. Yeah, and then we can draw the letter U for one toe. Another one. And then one more that curves around for the top of his foot. And then come back up here to draw his knee that's bent. We did it! We finished Monchi! Well, let's draw his car seat too. Let's first draw his seatbelt. We're going to draw his little buckle right here. We can draw an oval shape in between his front paws. And then right in the middle, we can split that oval. Oh, we forgot to add the toenails. Let's, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's add two or three little lines for the toenails. Next, let's also add another buckle right here. Because my feet are closer together, I'll just add a little curve like that. You could, yeah, imagine it going behind his feet, and it could make a whole circle. Oh, that's really cool. You did it. Now inside you could draw another curve that matches on the top and the bottom. Because my feet are so close together, there's not really much room. But on yours, you could draw almost a full complete circle for the button. Yeah, you press that to unbuckle Manchi. <laughs> <laughs> now let's draw the straps. We'll draw first the strap coming down. So two lines in between his legs. 
Then let's draw two straps coming up to each side of this buckle. And then we can make those straps thicker. Let's draw another curve coming out and one on the other side too. Now the other straps are going over his shoulders. So let's come out of the top like this and curve around and connect to his shoulder. Let's draw another line that matches right next to it to make that strap thicker. Yeah, let's do the same thing on the right side. I'm gonna go underneath his tongue and then connect over here to this shoulder. And then the same thing with the other side of the strap. And yours goes behind the paw, so you can imagine, yeah, just like that. Imagine it going behind. Yeah. Now let's draw his car seat. We'll start up here at the top and let's draw a line connecting both of his ears together. <laughs> then we can draw the corner of the car seat or the top of the car seat coming out from his ear and then coming down to his shoulder. And then we can imagine that line going through the other ear and coming out for the other side of the car seat. <laughs> then let's draw the bottom of the car seat and I'm gonna draw a line that comes past his body down here. And then we can do the same thing on the right side. And then let's connect these two lines down here at the bottom with another curve that comes across. Now let's draw the cushion that he's sitting on. So we can repeat the same shape right here, but let's draw it smaller. So I'm gonna come down, across, and then back up. There's the bottom of the cushion. Let's draw the top. We can start over here on his cheek and just match that same line for the outside of the car seat. Yeah, then we could also draw that same line on the right side too. And if you have enough room, maybe that line is up here at the top too. I'll just go straight across. I love that ours is different. That's so cool. We're missing one more thing. His whiskers. Yeah, let's draw three little whiskers coming out of each cheek. So we can draw three on the left, and three on the right. Hadley, we did it, we finished drawing Monchi. But we still need to color him. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you could pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, give me five. We did it. We finished coloring and drawing Monchi. Your drawing turned out so perfect. Thank you, I like yours too. Ah, thanks. Now you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. We used a light brown for the body, a medium brown for the snout and mouth, and then a darker brown for the eyes and also the ears. We also used dark brown for the texture on his cheeks. Yeah, the little lines on his chubby cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing Monchi. And parents, remember that the Mitchells vs. the Machines is now streaming on Netflix. We love you guys so much. And thank you to Netflix family for inviting us to draw Monchi. We'll see you later. Goodbye! Goodbye.